Got to check the sprocket size on this guy. I'm going with a 420 chain. You can't see nothing. There's a good angle for, for you. Oh, those nails. Ah. Oh boy. Ooh. Get it. Bless you. Cotter pin, adjustable metrics. Ugh. Look how this bearing looks. Come on, why not use a socket at them? <laughs> yep, that tire's dry. Ah. Well, it's not even, that's cool. Alright guys, so this uh, sprocket is whooped, tired, it, the teeth worn down, chip do jabber. So we're going to put a 420 on this, which is pretty much like a motorcycle chain. But I got to, I'm going to take this sprocket off, measure it, and then we'll uh, go from there. Let's go to the table. So when you... When you see me put the sprocket back on, that's when you know I got the right one. Again, I lied. So I'm gonna take some measurements on this and see if I can get a new replacement hub too. Cause I'm sure this thing is just tired. A lot of miles on this old girl, just like your mama. <laughs> Makes you wonder if this stuff has ever been uh, taken apart since it was assembled in the 70s. I'm wondering if the last person that touch of the hardware on this stuff was my late grandfather never met the guy i guess he was uh really into machines guys welcome back to cold star garage finally back at it I ordered uh the parts i think i need you know how that goes upgrading sprocket to a 420 <laughs> we're gonna clean this down give it a paint job put a diesel motor on this replace the bearings and stabilize this uh, drive wheel and then we're going to beat the ever-loving snot out of it we're going to make some noise and some smoke guys this scene is not going to be that long i might not even make the show so I'm, this is for the people actually like, watching some cleaning for whatever reason you guys are weird put that right in the dirt look how filthy that is Eh, hey, we'll just leave that there. What's the worst gonna happen? There's literally 20 year old dirt on this. Dawn dish soap, good enough for seals and ducks, good enough for a go-kart. Get those dirts out of it. Oh, let's not do that. Come on now. I got wet. A lot of this could be deleted out because nobody wants to watch me scrub a go-kart. All right, guys, you're going to see the done result of this. It's boring. Okay. All right, the first layer grinds off. But I got to take the tie rods, the steering shaft, the wheels off because this is going to need a little bit more work than I thought. There's a lot of chipping paint and just years and years painting on dirt and... Yeah. Oh, I didn't know how to use it. My one neighbor likes to mow every single day. Doesn't he know I'm trying to film a moving picture right now? That's custom right there. See that nail bent around? Yeah, I probably did that. Or my father. I will be going back to motor bicycles at some point to my uh, motor bicycle enthusiast. Don't worry, I'm not done with that yet. Because face it, those things are a lot of fun. Keep that cotter pin. Is that going to fall out? Huh. That's a different uh, bearing type than I anticipated. Yep, that's different. Oh, well, it looks like I have uh, replacements for that wheel. Oh, that's sloppy. That's good, right? 
it's gonna be. My cotter pin broke, weird. Okay, so I'm gonna take these tie rods off. You're gonna spin, dang it. Half inch. Or, if you guys have been watching my channel any length of time, you know the voice grip would have been my first choice. So we gotta do something with that, or not. It's not like we're taking down the rope. Well, never know with me. This is not a brake. This is not the gas. This is just a foot stop. The go throttles right here. Full catch up all the time. This is pretty exciting, guys. Let go. Maybe you get some Loctite. Nah. I'm surprised that didn't go out of tow. Maybe it was out of tow. I don't know. I'm not a chassis guy. So if I said that wrong, fuck off. What do you guys think of that? You in the corner know what, knows what that tool's for. Whew, that bolt is worn right out. Let go! Right by the threads. Right there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to source some of those. Are those supposed to be oval? You know what's cool, guys? I'm gonna show you this other, uh, this nut here. It's absolutely square. That's cool. I'm old enough where I've seen hardware like this, but some of you guys, younger, born in the 2000s, might not have seen this kind of hardware. I spent an awfully long time trying to thread this piece of crap hardware back together. I can't wait to see that. Metric? No, it's 9 16 what, what am I doing here? Am I missing my 9 16 Yeah. Mm-hmm. There it is. Found it. Those, those who are left watching. I'm sorry. I am the way I am. Yeah. That don't feel good at all. So sorry, guys. But the four that are hanging out, I appreciate you. Oh, it's hot. Weird. <laughs> yeah, you think you're going to fight me? I'm going to show you something. Send that bowl right into the stratosphere. Ow! Are you for real? <laughs> oh, you're playing with me now, huh? You think you're gonna win this? No. One drop of oil. Oh, it was two drops. Wes, uh, you know who you are. The guy from the, the complete toilet garage. Thanks for the torch. Ooh, she is not healthy. Fine. Be stubborn. See what gets you. See what's getting you? How you like me now? Fine. Be stubborn. Keep being stubborn. There. Easy. Yeah, she's a little Wilbur out, but it'll be good. It's fine. All right, we're almost done here. What are you looking at? My neighbors. They're going to think I'm absolutely crazy. Yeah, I am. I'm going to myself, buy some new cotter pins, forget. Put a finishing nail through it. You know, some people look, scan things over before they start taking stuff apart. This was installed after... The stop was installed after. There's no way I'm getting this out. But I can get it somewhat out of the way. I'm gonna have to wash it again. There, I got that filthy, disgusting bolt out of that uh, steering arm there for the right front wheel. You know, the one I uh, snapped off. Yep, took a little, little grinder on there, right there. Cause I ball peened it out and just Use that corner right there and just smash the ever living piss out of it. I got her. There's the aftermath. Fun stuff. I'm like, I'm like Picasso. So I got this dilemma here. It's a dang old oval. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna polish that down and I'm gonna weld that on. That should give me some, some of my uh, roundness back.
pretty sure lead paint's in that. It tasted delicious. That's one way of doing it. You guys don't want to see this, do you? I sure as don't. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I'm good at this. I'll show you that mess after I'm done. If you're hit with a grinder, maybe. So I'm uh, so I'm 36 years old, pushing 37, and I've never welded a day in my life. So it looks great when my back's turned to it. Guys, good thing I'm not a how-to channel. I'm here for your entertainment. So, guys, I'm gonna show you. I don't want you laughing at me too bad. There, that looks great. Guys, I need some practice. Good thing I own a grinder. All right, so here we are in the, the paint prep. I'm not gonna bore you with all this, the spraying, but uh, I cover up what I don't want painted and, and I'm gonna restore this. Can't wait to get this uh, diesel motor on us to take this for a rip. Be the first rip in 15, uh, 17 years, guys. It's pretty exciting stuff. Oh, I have a whole lot to say, don't I? Stay myself. All right, next scene, you're gonna see these all broke down and ready for paints, if I remember. There you go. They're all there. Just showing you beforehand before I give them the Restoration 9000, AKA Craigslist Rebuild. Yep, we're gonna get it. Just paint right over all the dirts, the oils, the greases. It'll be fine. It just, we'll bleed through, but that's fine. Guys, if any of you want me to come paint for you professionally. No, that, that's pretty dumb. Don't, don't hire me. Looks great from back here, doesn't it guys? Just keep, Oh, all further back. From back here, it looks okay. Oh, this is embarrassing. You caught me touching my tube. Dang it. So these old ass tires seem like they're holding theirs. They're not weather checked. It has the original tube, so I'm gonna check tomorrow and see if uh, the wind didn't leak out. And my uh, bearing hubs. Oh, oh, whoa, hold on. Oh, there we go. They look good now. Yeah, they look pretty awful up close. Guys, don't zoom in. You don't want to see that. So my uh, front tires, they hold air, which is surprising. The tube seem to be doing okay. There's no dry rot. Anywhere on these 20-year-old uh, rubbers. So uh, I'm putting the hubs on there. and I'm going to slap on the cart. The rear tires are in the mail. Hopefully pretty soon we'll have this thing rolling with the diesel. Starting to push off back together. Back right off the ground with all the hairs and dirts. Guys, if you want to see all the tire rebuild 9000s, they're all in shorts. I just wanted to spare you guys if you didn't want to watch it. This isn't right. I want to put a spacer on the back side because it doesn't feel like it's a... Uh... It don't feel good. What a mess. I don't, know, I don't remember what this is for. It's like, argh. Guys, I think that was a spacer. <laughs> I think that was a spacer, guys. Hmm. Let's just keep dropping that Timken bearing. Ah, oh, it's covered in dirt. Yeah, like it never happened. Good thing I got all the hardware for the wheels now. All grade eights. Safety first. You don't need to worry about those dang old brakes, so. Right, let me get this schmoo off my hands. I'll be right back. Guys, I bet you would never would have guessed that uh, Evan Ring grease. It's not water soluble. That's cool. Unless you are using on your boat Four ground. all right that's uh all right that's good enough for who she's for Get a little gap back here 
Get your goddamn fingers out of the way. Get his little gap right here. So I put shims in there so they're pushing against the bearing. Oh, look at that, guys. Yeah, I keep forgetting the, the guys that have been watching my shorts have seen these. This 420 sprocket. That's going to be a nice addition there. We got this wheel on. See, you see how it goes side to side like that? That's so uh, when you go around the corner, it kind of tracks with it. Engineered. All right, that's enough about wheels. The engine's going on now. Pervert. Here we are, getting ready to install this motor. $292 after uh, shipping from the Amazons. So uh, I'm trying to line her up, whichever, which way she'll go. I don't know if I have to drill new holes or not. But I'm gonna get my chain and I'm gonna try to line her up. I got some grade eight bolts. They should do the job. Oh, I'm getting excited. Sticky. America! It's starting to look like a go-kart, guys. I have no idea if anything's gonna line up. I'm gonna guess not. Hmm, I think we have found some candidates. I need to make the holes more bigger. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna... Once I find some drill bits, always prepared. Oh, that's an impact. Where's my drill later? All I just gotta do is straighten up some holes, I think. Wilbird. I'm a greasy caveman. Forget it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Don't need that clutch anyways. Oh, not think so. Dang it. Get out of there. Guys, I need uh, drill bits. I know that surprises you. Just like everything else I need around here. So for today, and today only, we're just gonna mount with three bolts until I get some. I need a hammer for no reason, because that's hammering. Perfect. Hammered it too much. Little love taps, little tappy taps. It's lining up at all. Oh boy. <clears throat> Son of a gun. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's take this bolt out. Maybe I'll just Son of a bitch. I guess when you eyeball things, just try eyeballing the right way. Oh me. Do you really need it a hundred percent square guys? Well well this will be coming back off. Dang it. I need drill bits, guys. I need all of them. I don't know how much of this you guys are gonna see, but come over to my uh, YouTube shorts, my reels on the Instagrams, or even the dang old, dang old TikToks. And you can watch these boring little segments that are uh, 32 seconds long. That's long enough. <laughs> Definitely didn't have to file that hole to this shape. Nope, I didn't do that. Said wise man said to grind this flush and this will pop right out. But I'm gonna poke a hole in here and I'm gonna try to just smack it through. Cow! Maybe I should just take the advice of the wise man. Or big hammer! Jesus Christ. Now, he's right. Dave, you were right. Just do it the right way, Adam. I'm just gonna use this to hold it. Or not. You know, I'm gonna be safe. Instead of hitting this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna knock this one out and see how it looks. Cause I might have to shift the, the motor. Come on. I went right for it. Cause I'm an idiot. Good thing I caught myself. Take that. Chain break, what's that? Is that hot? easy so it's starting to move and we're just gonna 
Well, I tell you, easy guys. All right, I still gotta do some more adjustments on the, the mounting of this, but see how loose that is. All right, it appears this side, this side has a sharp edge. And this chain's gonna go be going that way, this way. So we want this clip, ah, my fingers. Some people uh, tack weld these. Some people put some uh, sealant on them, RTV. All right, so that's on there. Chain is wicked loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get some of this movement. Just shimmy down this way. Two weeks later, and here we are. Finally, bolting this on for the last time. Chain installed. This close rolling, guys. Make sure it's tracking it straight. Pick your favorite eye to look at it. This 420 chain is gonna play the nicest thing on this go kart. Way down. Trying to film. Yeah, old sauce. We're gonna have some fun. It's not gonna be a fast ride. Well, maybe I could tow some stumps out of the ground or something, I don't know. You know what this means. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. Two months messing around with it. Here it is, finally uh, off saw horses on the ground ready for rip, to rip. So uh, we'll see what it does. The wheel chalk does. We don't need the camper wheel chalks. My wife's laughing at me. No brakes.
staring at my yard. I'll get you. Look at all the coals in the air. I'm doing my share helping global warming. It gets too cold up here in the north. You don't need to worry about no brakes or oncoming traffic. Just send it. Three of you are still here? Guys, I appreciate that. Thanks for watching my uh, moving picture. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot more fun coming up. When I get time, making these videos. I got some, some advice for you. Get off your ass and do something, even if it's wrong. You'll thank me for it.